This tutorial shows you how you can use GMAX to create shapes that can be exported as G-code um, so you can cut them with a, with a laser. First thing you do once you've started GMAX is you want to customize some settings to make it easier to work with. These Go to Customize, Unit Setup, and choose Metric and Millimeters. Also use, go to Customize, Preferences, and choose system unit scale one unit equals one millimeter. Lastly go to customize grid and snap settings and switch over to the home grid and make sure that your grid spacing is one millimeter. After you've configured the unit settings let's open the max script that will generate the g-code. So go to the max script menu item, open script, Open the GMAX laser cutting script that you downloaded. Also go to Max Script and open the Max Script listener window. And then finally make sure that Macro Recorder is turned on. Now it's turned on. To generate a shape that will be used as the cutting path, let's go to the Create tab. Create, choose the second sub-tab called Shapes and it needs to be a flat object so let's use text. Set your size to rough 30 millimeters, that's the height of each each letter. Type in some text and then in the top view here click right in the middle and align your object. If you need to move it choose the Select and Move icon and you can move it. But center it up. Once you've done that we need to be able to get to the individual vertices of each object, of each letter. So in order to do that, just right click on it and say convert to editable mesh. Convert to editable mesh. Now that it's an editable mesh, you can get to the individual vertices. So switch over to vertex mode. So in selection, click the little dots, vertex. And select all of the vertices of each letter. What you'll see in the Max Script listener window is the first and end vertex of that selection. Write that down because that's going to be a cutting path for one letter. Now for your second letter, there are some letters that have an inner path in them. So if you were just to select all of the letter, all of the vertices of that, it would trace out the outer path first and then but then drag the laser head into the middle one. So you have to unselect, you have to treat this middle um, selection as a separate path. So to do that, just hold down your Alt key, you'll see a little minus icon, and unselect all of those inner um, vertices. Okay, once you've done that, that's the 131 through 295, that's the outer vertices. Um, and write those down because that's going to be your second path. Then once you've written that down, go ahead and select the inner one and you hold down control, you'll see the plus icon on your mouse, and highlight all of the inner ones. Not every letter has an inner shape, so you don't have to do this for every one. But now that now you've got three um, shapes that will be cut because the laser will be turned off between each uh, path. So write down that one and then lastly select your last letter and write down those vertices. Now that you've written down all of your your vertices um, go to the, the max script um, and find the variable called vertex sub elements and inside of there you want to enter the pairs of vertex of letters basically. Now, and so for me, 1 through 130 is the M, 131 through 295 is the outer path of the A, 296 through 359 is the inner part of the A, and then 360 through 380 are the vertices of the V. Once you've done that, unselect vertex mode, ensure that your object is selected, make sure it says select text 01, and because that's what the Max script will work against. It has to work against the selected object. So 
go to go to the max strip window and say file evaluate all what will be output here is the final G code this is your cutting path this is what you'll paste into replicator um, to you know cut the path so copy all of that now Gmax has some limitations because it's a free version um, it'll only let you copy so many lines so you, you have to you know when I hit con when I try to select all I can't select everything it only goes that far so cut out that and paste it into another file and do that however many times is necessary before you can get you know the entire G code now there's some stuff at the top that you don't need uh, get rid of everything until basically F the the first F code and then at the bottom you can get rid of a little bit of stuff there now you can save all of that as a file you know you can save as or you can just copy all of that into uh, your replicator right so if we get rid of all that this is um, ready to to generate um, the laser path one thing I forgot to mention um, you know there's a, there's inside of the the gmax laser cutting strip there's a variable called g1 speed and that's how fast the uh, build platform will will move um, you know and it depends on the power how powerful your laser is and um, what type of material you're trying to cut or etch so it defaults to 325 um, but you can change that depending on your laser and setup so um, Prior, so once you've ex, you know generated the G code and copied it in there, you're ready to hit build, and off it starts building. All right. And you'll hear it click between each uh, between each letter. That click is the the laser being blocked. I don't have it turned on right now. 